Hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone who's joining into our chat tonight on a Saturday evening at 8 o'clock Singapore time. Um, today, we are very, very honored to have three special guests. Um, two of them are based in Japan, and one is our, our very special regional manager from based in Singapore, Kitaro So. Hi, Kitaro So. Hi, good evening. And we also have uh, we also have Takashi Uino san. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, and we have Mr. Kunio Aoyama. Yes. And myself, um, my name is Mindy Tan. I'm a Fujifilm ex photographer from Singapore. So to, before we continue, um, I'd just like to give you a quick introduction about um, who we are speaking with tonight. Okay. Hey. Let me share my screen. Can you all see my screen? Still uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Share. Oh, it's coming. Oh yeah. So today we are primarily speaking about um, um, <laughs> the X Pro Three and X Hundred V and. Takashi, Mr. Takashi Uino here, he is the product planning manager um, for the entire Fujifilm X series. So he oversees the development of all X series cameras, including the GFX and also including the X series lenses. Um, and the X100V is uh, the brainchild of uh, Mr. Takashi Uino. So later on, we'll be asking him questions about the X100V. So, if you've watched um, our 90 minute documentary camera punk, you would recognize Mr. Uino uh, in the opening where he famously says that mechanical gears have functional beauty, design, feeling, and, su and shutter sound. So he's a very avid collector of um, antique cameras and he loves um, mechanical gears and wheels, yeah. as you can tell from the bicycle here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay, next we have Mr. Kunio Aoyama. Now he has two very special roles in Fujifilm. First, he is the producer for events. So if you've been to one of these events, um, like the Fujikina, um, all of these are planned by him, as well as special um, segments like the Magnum Photographer's Home Project. Mm -hmm. You must have watched the videos or they're on YouTube. And his other role, he actually is the product planner for X Pro 2 and X Pro 3. So part of the job of a product planner um, is to, you know, liaise with the R&D team um, and all segments of the department to make sure that the concept um, and the flow um, comes about efficiently. So um, I, I believe this is one of the ideas also of Mr. Aoyama. So later on, we we'll talk about it. And finally, but not least, we have Mr. Kitaro So today. He is the regional marketing manager for Asia Pacific. Now, So San also has a very special um, passion um, for the MK lenses, for the <laughs> Fujifilm Cine lenses. So, and lastly, but not least, we, we have myself, uh, Mindy Tan. I'm a Fujifilm X photographer. So now let's begin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for introducing yeah, me. Thank you. Okay, uh, Uino-san, yeah? can you share your first ideas when planning the X100V? And what was your vision or the designer's vision? Okay, so at first, uh, I will share our thoughts of the X X100V as it was before development. So as you know, uh, X100 series have strong individuality. Uh, and I think nobody wants revolutionary change to X100 series. So honestly speaking, number of my requests about X100B to product designer was uh, very small. So the most important thing is Everybody can recognize that is X100 at a glance. Okay, so roughly speaking, 
uh, choosing devices uh, such mm. as sensor and processor and uh, deciding camera specification are mainly our vision. On the other hand, uh, selecting body material and uh, deciding external design and uh, layout of buttons or dials are mainly designers' vision. Okay. Mm. So, uh, so now uh, let me show you one of the product planning document of uh, X100V. So mm -hmm. I will share the document. Please wait a minute. Maybe among us, uh, only I didn't see. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> me, me already uh, saw. Uh, sorry, I, I, I choose uh, wrong slide. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hey, while get, that's getting set up, I actually haven't um, had the chance to go on the street and shoot a lot with the X hundred V yet because of we cannot go out uh, so i haven't been able to practice the uh, snap snap shoot street photography yeah but okay. oh same moves right mm. yeah. oh sorry sorry is that the right so okay can you see this mm. right yes yeah okay uh so this is a history of x100 series okay uh, mm. We launched new X100 almost every two years. And, sorry. Uh, okay. And this is a first concept sheet of X100V. Mm. Okay. When, when we start new model product planning, we always make this type of concept sheet. And if you see this sheet, I think you can recognize some important points that we want to improve by X100V. Okay. These are the vision of product planning team about X100V. We propose this to R&D team and then R&D team consider the possibility of realization of these requests, these our requests. Mm. Of course, they check it not only technical side, but also the development cost side, uh, schedule side, and so on. And if all concerns became clear, we can start to develop new model. This is the process of product planning. Mm. Yeah, that's my answer. So basically, the product planner will have an idea about what he or she wants to create. And then um, he has to go through uh, step by step the R&D team um, and then the cost, cost planning to figure out if this idea is feasible. Um, mm. to be brought into mass production. And if it's possible, then the decision will be made to go ahead for mass production, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So now I want to ask you, uh, you know, you know, a question that a lot of fans like to ask. So oh, if I have um, the X100F, you know, mm -hmm. should I buy the X100V? Like many people ask me this question on Instagram. So mm -hmm. actually, um, mm -hmm. in, in your opinion, what mm -hmm. are the top three improvements of mm -hmm. 100V mm -hmm. from 100F? Mm -hmm. Convince mm -hmm. me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, X100F is now a reasonable price. Yeah, I think uh, still very attractive camera. Yeah, X100F. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think... Uh, the most impressive improvement improvement point uh, the first is a uh, new lens mm -hmm. and the uh, second is uh, a uh, tilting screen and the third 
is um, aluminum body. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Among them, uh, mm. I think the biggest change is new lens. Mm. Okay, so let me explain about the process of uh, decision of the new lens. Okay. Okay. Um, at the beginning of development of X100V, we have some options we have to choose about the lens. The first idea is to maintain previous lens. Mm -hmm. Honestly speaking, uh, we knew that many users, many X100 users, like the image quality of previous lens. As you know, that was a little, a little soft and uh, not too sharp. So we had the possibility of using same lens in the early stages of development. But on the other hand, uh, we also could say that the resolution of previous lens was not enough for our X trans four sensor. Okay. So originally X one hundred, originally X one, it has just only a uh, twelve megapixel camera. Yeah. So that lens uh, was designed for uh, the, the 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 sensor, twelve megapixel or twenty four megapixel or so. so but now, uh, twenty six megapixels we have. Yes, we we, we have. Yeah. Mm. A little bit too. Yeah. Low of quality the for, for the uh, current sensor. Oh, so with the larger sensor that, that you have now installed, uh, you need a, a larger, slightly larger lens, right? To... No, no, no. Same sensor size, but the megapixel yeah. is higher. Higher megapixel. Yeah. Higher. Uh, mm -hmm. The number of megapixels are uh, increased, is increased. Yeah. And the second option is to install optical image stabilization or not. Mm -hmm. okay. Of course, we know the advan you know the advantage of optical image stabilization. So we try to design new lens, including image stabilization system. But after rough design, we found the length of the lens will be about 10 millimeter longer than current lens. Mm. So 10 millimeter is too long for us. <laughs> yeah, and needless to say, the weight will be heavier. As you know, small and lightweight is the biggest priority for X100 series. Because of those, uh, we judged optical image stabilization system is not suitable for X100V at this moment. Okay. Okay. After Which all, means we may have yeah. in future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please expect. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> clue, big clue. <laughs> after mm -hmm. all, after many discussions, uh, we decided to develop new lens uh, that don't have optical imaging stabilization system. Okay, so here, let me share with you the lens construction figure. Can you see? It's coming. Showing. Yeah. OK. OK. So as you see, uh, mm. optical design is totally different. Totally different. Uh, the left one is a new lens. The right one is the old lens. But the size and the specification are almost the same. And biggest difference is image quality. Please look at uh, next slide, this comparison. Can you see? Oh dear, I have to buy the 100V now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, much, much better. So fast. Much, much better than <laughs> old lens. This is our new lens. 
Mm. So that is the reason. So when uh, do you recommend uh, uh, current X100V? Yeah. Mm. But when you okay. this picture, you zoom in how many times? Sorry? How many so times do you, do you zoom, zoom in? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I don't know how, how many times. I think this is 100%. I think 100% of size yeah. of yeah, the pixel to yeah, pixel. Maybe the near the 100%. Yeah. Mm. 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 The, 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 that number is uh, the newspaper's word. Uh, stock stock yeah. price. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stock price, yes, yes, just right. On the paper. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. But, uh, uh, Wino -san, okay. Some people love soft image also. Mm -hmm. yeah. series. So mm -hmm. I'm sure this was very tough decision mm -hmm. for Venusan mm -hmm. to go for new lens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, X100F, uh, the, the old lens is very unique, unique mm -hmm. character it has. Mm -hmm. so soft and hard, soft and sharp, mm -hmm. the two faces it has. Mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we are sticking to the old, old character. How do you, how, how do you mm -hmm. feel? How do you think, Yuenosan? Mm, yeah, so our opinion, so the, uh, generally speaking, mm -hmm. so we can make a uh, sharp image uh, change, we can make a uh, sharp image to uh, transfer to soft image by software or uh, some kind of filter. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we cannot make sharp you, uh, using uh, not sharp lens, unsharp mm -hmm. lens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we choose sharper lens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. And also, probably, um, I mean, for street photographers, you know, where this 100V appeals to, it, it helps to bring out this um, very high contrast look mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. if I'm shooting on the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, I think I'm quite convinced. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And also, like the tactile nature of the 100 V, um, because I have the 100 F, and I think it, it the this top feels very different. The mm. the curves are different, which I think it's uh, the the result of masa masa imai sans mm -hmm. um um innovation, right? Because <laughs> when I when I when I touch this, I'm like, oh, okay, this is masa san. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Another question I have for you, yeah. right? So, okay. And, uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I I would like to continue the explain. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you asked me the three points, eh? three mm. uh, improvement mm. points. Okay. Okay. So, and the second big improvement is installing tilting screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So also about this improvement, we had many, many discussions. For example, some people said uh, that tilting screen is not suitable for X100 because almost X100 users will use viewfinder. And other one said, tilting screen is easy to change the position of lens higher or lower. So it should be adopted for X100. I think both uh, make sense. My And my biggest concern was the thickness of the body. Mm. Generally speaking, tilting screen makes the back of the camera bulky, especially around the screen. But fortunately, our designers and engineers found good solution about this. That was to develop an extra thin LCD panel. Thanks to this device, uh, we could achieve flat and solid design like this. OK. Yeah, the screen looks like it's sunken into the body itself instead of yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah, actually, not so many people realize, oh, this is a tilt screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It looks really, mm. really flat. Yeah. 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 Uh, Maybe some, 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 yeah. some people who purchase X100V still 
is in Turia Rice. Only very yeah, small like, clue yeah. at a corner. Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, uh, the inside, inside the Fujifilm development team, we call this uh, this two-table screen hidden two-table screen. Yeah. yeah, we call it. Mm -hmm. Looks like yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. yes. it's invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, invisible tilt screen. Yeah. Tilt screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so let me continue. Last one. The explanation. The last one. And the uh, third improvement is use of aluminum body. To be honest, uh, this is not my idea. It's designer's request. Designer means mm. Masa-san. Mm. Masa-san's request. Yeah. The main purpose is of main purpose of this is to increase luxury feeling. And uh, yeah, uh, okay. So you can see. So at first, press the, this aluminum board and construct the rough shape of the top cover. After that, repeating press many times to sharpen the edge of the cover, and then make it flat and much sharper by cutting. And at last, smooth the surface by blasting. Mm. And of course, final finish is anodized satin coating, not paint. Mm. Mm. That seems more luxury compared mm. to the paint. Mm. This is a process of making aluminum body, especially top cover. Mm. I think, actually, mm. yeah, sorry. The process of making the surface smooth is actually quite um, difficult and quite taxing, right? I know yeah, it involves a lot right. of yeah. manual labor, like people yeah. have to actually manually yeah. grind it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. to be honest, it's cost very high. Oh, I imagine that. Yeah. I think these three improvements are the most impressive about X100B. Okay, so that's all. Yeah. Maybe you forget about the video capability. <laughs> <laughs> for me, video capability is uh, one of the big improvement uh, uh, for X100B from uh, X100F. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, okay. Is the top cover actually made in Japan? Is the whole unit made in Japan? Yeah, uh, this camera is made in Japan. Yeah. Okay, so now my next question. Um, you know, we always say camera manufacturers always tell us like, oh, this camera is water resistant. But what does that actually mean, right? And how mm -hmm. water resistant is the 100V? You know, can I take it out on the street on a rainy day, photograph in the rain or in the snow? What if the snow drops on my mm -hmm. camera? Is mm -hmm. it still water resistant? And which part is water resistant? Yeah. Can you see the perspective mm -hmm. view of X100V? Mm -hmm. Not the water, weather resistant. Weather, not water, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's same level of other X series, such as, uh, for example, X-T4. So honestly speaking, even other X series, those don't have weather resistant function, also be cared about weather sealing. So I think you don't need to afraid of using X one hundred V in rainy day and snow day, of course. Mm. So, but of course, generally speaking, protecting the camera from water, rain, as much as possible, is. Mm better than no care about it. Mm. Yeah, but mm. you don't need to afraid the okay. uh, water, yeah. Yeah, well, usually my method when I'm carrying like the 100 v, uh, the hundred F is mm -hmm. when it starts to rain, I will put it inside my shirt or inside mm -hmm. my jacket and start to mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but my greatest fear usually is like if I'm shooting uh, in the mm -hmm. snow and I get snow all over and then when it starts to melt, mm -hmm then I, I start to panic, like, oh, maybe you have to dry the camera. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, maybe my last question um, yeah. for 100B is like, 
um, up to high, how many ISO can we go mm. up to before we see the noticeable grain? Because mm. for street photographers, we like to shoot at night mm. uh, in low light on dark alley. So mm -hmm. what is your recommendation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think the tolerance about the high ISO image quality is mm -hmm. depends on user's thought. Mm -hmm. uh, in my personal opinion, so mm -hmm. I can tolerate up to ISO 3200 without no excuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, uh, the official specification about high ISO performance is totally same as other interchangeable lens system X-rays. Uh, those have same sensor and processor. For example, X1, X-T4, X-Pro3, and so on. Yeah, totally same. Uh, X100B have uh, same good performance about the high ISO image quality. Mm. Okay. Oh, so how thank about you. you? Hmm? How about, how about you, Me? Yes, mm. yeah. as, as a professional yeah. user. <laughs> yeah. My okay. tolerance. Uh, yeah. I, I actually, um, uh, for all the Fuji cameras, I've bumped it to 12,800 quite a lot. Um, mm. Well, a lot of times because I have no choice um, when, because I'm doing documentary. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently I did a series called The Hour Before She Sleeps. So I go into a woman's bedrooms and I stay with them when they are sleeping until they sleep. So you can imagine it's very dark. Uh, maybe the only light is just from their handphone or from the laptop or just small light. So everything mm -hmm. is 12,800. So even if the photo comes out very grainy, uh, I have to accept it. Um, it. I think it's part of the beauty. Um, so to answer your question, Kunio, uh, <laughs> I, I have a, quite a high tolerance. Um, mm. to, my, to my eyes, um, I think maybe 6,400 is, mm. is acceptable for me. Oh, really? Uh, yep. Mm. And uh, 12,800 is... Of course, it's grainy. Um, yeah. I, I have had an exhibition before that we blew up the 12,800 photo to uh, A1 size mm. and also to AO size. Mm. Um, I think it's part of the feature of the uh, photo. Mm. Yeah, well, okay. so, yeah, I think it, is, it depends on the, the usage. So mm. I can use also 10,000 or so. And, uh, mm. For the, the sample picture also, as a manufacturer, mm. just uh, mm. we can just we can use up to 800 or so on. but uh, that is a uh, nonsense because uh, the photography for many many usage mm. the, 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 we have to shoot any photographer any photography for any uh, any usage and sometimes to sort of like trick to fool the eye i turn on the um, film uh, function uh, the grain function so that the camera produces the grain to override the digital grain. So, I mean, there's many ways of doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, let's move on to uh, the X-Pro3. Kunio, uh, San, it's your turn. Thank you. So who, who did you target X-Pro3 for? Oh, yes, so this, is, mm, this is the first question. So actually, the X-Pro3 has the name of the Pro series. So my main, basically, I have to say the four professionals, but uh, this is not my idea. So explicitly uh, for any persons, any photographers. So because explicitly that concept is pure photography. So pure photography means that the basic of the photography, a kind of the standard of the photography. So that's a concept that can be shared with uh, uh, any uh, photo enthusiast. So my, if somebody has uh, money, enough money, so I recommend my X Pro 3. Uh, even that guy is uh, the beginner photographer, not professional photographer, but I strongly recommend because the X Pro 3 has uh, uh, essential of the photography. So that's the reason. So not only for professionals, but also beginner users. So this is uh, my target. 
Mm, so you are saying that the expo tree like goes back to the root of what photography is, right? The way it operates, the way it functions. Yeah. Um, like a camera is what a camera is yeah, to be. Yeah. Yeah, so, so standard means mm. just use two hands, so one for mm. uh, budget, uh, one for the shutter speed, mm. uh, the other for uh, aperture ring, aperture ring, aperture ring. Yeah. and then just framing. So this is a very, very mm. standard, the very, very the basic of the photographing. So that's mm. the reason I recommend. Mm. Mm. It's very mm. classic old school style. And I know that you also read a lot ah, of yes, books. Yes, the classic. Yeah, and you, you, you are a fan of many of um, photographers and you have a whole huge collection of photography books at home mm. also that you reference uh, mm. your knowledge yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, please. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so, uh, now somebody see this style is old school, so, but I think uh, it is uh, not old, but classic, as you say. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So you know when you first yeah you come up with this idea, but. Did, were you? Did you have in mind like, is this what the users want, or is it what you think they want? You know what I mean is, did you consider what yeah. do what do my buyers want? Was that your priority, mm. or did you come up with this um, concept because you think that the the camera market needs mm. this? Mm need something so, that they don't know that they didn't have yet. Mm. So this is also a little bit difficult question. <laughs> so no, no, no. to be honest, uh, the product planner of Expo 3 is not only me. So uh, no, no, no. actually, so Ueno and I uh, is a team of Expo 3. So, and uh, fortunately, uh, ueno is producing uh, all series of the X series. So XT series also, he's producing, and uh, XT uh, 20 or 30 series also, he's producing. And uh, also, uh, he's organizing X Pro series. So, X Pro uh, cannot, uh, uh, X Pro 3 uh, does not need to reach uh, any kind of users, right? So we have a, a roll apartment, roll, part, roll partition we have, okay? So we have, uh, unfortunately we have XT series, okay? Mm. And X100 series. So just uh, X plus three uh, can uh, focus on the uh, certain uh, usage and certain uh, users. So that's the reason uh, we can go. We could go mm, so this way. Yeah, the, yeah, he's right. Mm. So I think there are many variations about the Expro user's request to the ne to next model every time. So and uh, among them, so many photographers around me who use Expro system often requested me that they want one and only camera, distinctive camera. That was very impressive to me. Frankly speaking, so there are many similar camera on the market, on camera market. Mm. Of course, we are also making such kind of camera, but some enthusiasts don't satisfy with that, with that type of camera. So mm. we developed X Pro 3 for special photographers who want to feel the delight of possession fun of use and uh, the origin of photography. Mm. Yeah, mm. X Pro 3 is a such kind of camera, I think. Yeah, and I think that many camera users who were um, who started out shooting in the film days, um, though these camera users can truly identify and, and sort of feel the, the immense pleasure when it's brought when this design is being brought into the digital realm and you know without the need for film so i think it really is a very niche group of people mm. but also um 
yes, very, very going back to the classical days of photography. Mm, yeah. So one, one more question, right? You know, like this whole um, flip screen mm. or the no screen thing yeah. um, mm. is very controversial, uh, especially, you know, in camera forums. I mean, there's so many types of um, comments that people have written, some good, some bad, you know, all kinds. So how do you feel, you know, when consumers criticize your decision? Do you have any regrets? Oh, how do you feel? The <laughs> <laughs> uh, last year, uh, the day of uh, the year of uh, develop, product developing of Expo Three, more whole year, more I was I um, I had I had received many many challenges from inside and outside. <laughs> many ex photographers and many uh, sales persons um, challenging me, uh, uh, challenging me, why? Why such a such a not uh, uh, hidden in the city? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. yes. Some mm. people say stupid way. Yes. So this is a crazy. Why you hide the screen? So what? Was, just just uh, in time uh, through the year. Was just I was we were I was uh, talking. I was saying. Please use this one. Please use very uh, the most world uh, best finder. Okay. So because uh, using the finder, so uh, focusing on the uh, subject, uh, this is an uh, uh, essential part uh, for the photography. So that is the reason uh, we wanted to hidden the screen. Mm. Uh, to be honest, uh, I had many regret. But now I can say um, our choice, uh, our decision was not wrong. This is the right way. But from a sales point of view, mm -hmm. as uh, Ueno san said, this is distinctive camera. Uh, Mindy san said the niche you know, market. But uh, the reality is, you know, uh, you know, X Pro 1, X Pro 2, X Pro 3. So when we launched this product, we had a very big, uh, like, a sales wave. And this wave, you know, becoming bigger and bigger. First one, second one, third one. Yeah, so I think uh, uh, more and more uh, number of fan or customer start to appreciating this uh, uniqueness. Yeah. This is my, uh, you know, idea so from sales but no regret can i show my slide yes uh, yes, yes. yes so actually uh, so last year uh, uh, two years uh, two years ago uh, from two years ago so we have a uh, many discussion with uh, designers and also uh, this is a sales person and also uh, many many ex photographers so uh, I want, I want. Ivan is here. Ivan uh, is here from Singapore. Ivan is here. And uh, he is very famous, uh, Kevin Murins. So, and also uh, European side, also uh, many, uh, many internal person and external person uh, join this uh, discussion. So, somebody agree with my idea, somebody challenging. So, but I think uh, I got this idea. Oh, uh, this message, uh, this, uh, this idea. That show give the message to the market, this industry. So that is a uh, that is a uh, reason uh, why we produce this idea, uh, produce this camera. So we don't need uh, for for expo possibility team. So we don't need to produce a, a general camera. Just our mission is a show uh, produce the unique one and only camera. Okay. So that is a. And uh, for the reason uh, we can we could stand such such a kind of many many challenges. Actually, my Sosan is Sosan was also challenging us. <laughs> but I Sosan, are you the bad guy? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yes, bad guy. Yeah. Ah. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Good, since good, we... good memory. Yeah. Good since we. Since we were on this slide, right? Um, I remember during the meeting, uh, mm. this is Dubai, 
in Dubai, yeah, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, it was Dubai, but Dubai also, yeah. uh, but sometimes, uh, many times we had a meeting. So Tokyo and also Hakone also, and Jama also. Mm. So I remember in this photo um, mm -hmm. of this meeting in Dubai, you showed three different colors, three different material oh, yes. uh, mm. for X Pro 3. And mm. you asked us, what color do you like? Uh, how many color should X Pro 3 be in? Right, and mm -hmm. finally, Expo Tree was mass produced in three colors, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is very unusual for the camera for a product for any product. Why uh, did why did we choose? Why do you choose to have three colors? Uh, so to be honest, the Wino Sando, the four, the Leica and the Wino Sando, me, uh, the bicycle rubber, uh, <laughs> racing bicycle rubber. So it is not special. Uh, for preparing the uh, many yeah. colors options uh, yeah. for uh, the uh, highest model. Mm. So uh, actually, this is a strange uh, the, the camera industry, the black camera only. So this is uh, it looks strange for us. Mm. So so, that, so I think uh, the three color is uh, enough options for uh, such a uh, camera, such an explosive. Mm. So black, my titanium black also uh, essentially, and uh, the half black is a symbolic color of the X Pro series, and directed silver. This is a very very uh, very very uh, luxury color and uh, very, very symbol symbolic color of the titanium material. So that's the reason we don't. Uh, we, we did not choose one color only. We produce three colors, all three, three options. Mm. Mm. So that you make it more difficult for us to choose. Yes, or maybe buy. difficult. Mm. Mm. So uh, th these three colors are all of uh, our uh, babies. Right? So no parents cannot choose one, one, boy, one, one boy only. Okay. So I can show the one, uh, one images. So this is my brother, okay? So somebody knows uh, myself is one of the triplet, three boys, okay? One of the three boys. So my mother and my, my father, maybe, maybe I cannot choose one boy only. So <laughs> the three boys, every, 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 hour, every three boys is uh, essential, um, uh, essential for so my parents. So the, the, this is the same, the similar to my heart, my mind. So which which color are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, maybe he's a geotech to black. Uh, yes, uh, I wanna be this color. I wanna be this color. <laughs> special, special, huh? special color. So when we say Dura Silver, this is the original color of the titanium material, right? So this is the most pure color. Most pure color. It, the top is yeah, that's made a low of titanium. titanium color. Mm. Low titanium. Raw material. Yeah. Color. Titanium. Mm. And for the black color, is it also titanium inside? Yes, sure. Yes. So maybe somebody uh, who has uh, explosively can see that this uh, this credit. So made of uh, titanium, made mm. of titanium. Every color, every three color uh, has made of uh, titanium. Mm. This is correct. Mm. So and uh, after the very hard using, so you can see the color of the uh, titanium material color. Okay, so which means that if I scratch the black, the titanium comes out. Yes, my aging color. Mm. Mm. So it actually becomes more beautiful with age. So you can see the wear and tear of the usage. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so okay. Kunio-san, next question. If you can only choose one camera to buy, <laughs> this is like a, people like to ask this kind of questions. If you can only choose one camera to buy, X Pro 3 or X 100 V, mm. what would you choose? <laughs> uh, how much I can use? Uh, how, how, much, uh, how much money budget? I can use? Budget, yes. Uh, okay, maybe... 
So Singapore yeah. dollar, okay, US dollar mm -hmm. 1,800. 1,800. 1,800. 1,800. No, sorry, just I, I can uh, I can <laughs> choose only X100V. Yeah. So, uh, so give me uh, 3,000 or so. 3,000 okay. US dollar. Mm. So I can, use, I, I can choose X plus 3. And How with about? three lenses. <laughs> How about no budget, but your father say to you, son, I buy you a present for your exams. Good results. Mm. Choose mm. one camera. Choose one camera. Mm. My, so my, my dream camera uh, dream camera kit is uh, one expo three and uh, with three lenses. So just uh, my uh, my answer is expo three. Mm. But uh, just I had only uh, one thousand or so. Uh, maybe I can. I can go to buy uh, X100F uh, second hands because uh, it has uh, enough quality and very, it is uh, also very uh, classical camera, essential camera. Mm. Mm, that's a good choice actually, mm. the 100F. I have been using it for, uh, for two years now and it's still a very good camera that I have on my desk yes, on my table at home. You just mm. grab it anytime you need, yeah. Mm. Okay, I think um, let's take a few questions from the floor. So let me start with um, privilege goes to a question from my um, Instagram account. Mm -hmm. There is a, so there's many comments and questions, but uh, somebody asked, um, instead of doing a feel good interview, can you ask them about the heating issue <laughs> with the X100V? This is question. This is a question from June B. Yeah, certainly. If uh, the users use 4K video, so sometimes X one hundred V become very hot. Yeah. So it's so uh, it depends on the. Uh, time uh, how long they use 4k video but uh, as you know the x100b is a very small size so small size it's not suitable for uh, video because we cannot uh, uh, i don't know how to say it. we cannot so we cannot the heat yes yes that's right yeah uh, we cannot release heat nicely. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a very compact body. Yeah. Uh, we need some mm -hmm. space. Uh, yeah, so that's interchangeable, the main need. Yeah, interchangeable mm -hmm. camera is more space. That uh, have a, a many vacant space mm -hmm. that can yeah mm -hmm. save so, the heat. Yeah. But I think generally speaking, most of all uh, you know digital SR camera, mirrorless camera, if you shoot 4K video. Yes, ma, I can say you know the most ma all camera will have a heat yeah. more than fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's a uh, you know the matter of a small difference. Mm -hmm. But does it mean that the camera is still safe to use when it gets heated up, or should I stop? Uh camera automatically stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we install the limiter of the heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm shut down automatically. Mm. Mm. And, uh, so you have to put the camera in the refrigerator, then you can. <laughs> 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 okay. So so that's, that's no way as a user that I can, you know, how can I circumvent, prevent in advance, prevent this from happening? Should I be a bit more slow? Mm -hmm. some, some, if you talk about the professional people, mm -hmm. like videography, cinematography people, actually, well, that's true. They put uh, some fan to release the uh, uh, heat, mm -hmm. put the uh, you know, fan next to the camera mm -hmm. to release the heat. Yeah. So, but but uh, I can say Singapore outside is very, <laughs> very hot. Very hot. So, uh, generally speaking, yes. 
like Southeast Asia, India, summer is very, very tough in terms of 4K video. Mm. Okay, let's take the next question from mm. Daniel Tan. Will the 100V ND filter ever be enabled for video? Uh, yeah, uh, we are recognizing that issue. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, uh, we will. Uh, yeah, we, will, we are starting. Yeah, starting to uh, investigate the mm -hmm. solution of that matter. So, maybe uh, we will do firmware upgraded and maybe uh, NT filter will be available for uh, among the movie shooting. Mm. So actually speaking about firmware upgrades, I have a question about the firmware upgrade. Um, so will there be the new film simulations like Classic Net and Beach by Bypass? Will this be introduced to the older camera models? Yeah, uh, it's a very difficult answer to query. <laughs> yeah, so to be honest, uh, copying new features such as new film simulation to uh, all the models is not free cost for us, even though same sensor and same processor they have. But of course, uh, we know many X series users are expecting it so now we are considering uh, what is the best way uh, yeah now we are now considering <laughs> that is all i can answer today mm. so so we cannot we cannot say uh share the idea of this in specific but uh, we realize uh, the voice of the, our users and uh, actually we are respect uh, we are respecting that that voice is yeah of and, course uh, so we we don't uh, we don't wanna then then uh, regret uh, to buy uh, current models. Just so we can promise. Mm. Mm. Especially you know like the classic net uh, film simulation. I think that there's a small cult of uh, fans who love this film simulation and hoping that they can get it in whatever cameras they currently own or so. So I think if you were to release such a firmware upgrade, I think everybody will be downloading and it will be like a big Christmas present to everyone, <laughs> to all the Fujifilm users. Mm -hmm. So we, we wish we want to be a good, a best Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We will do hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take the next question from Jay Man. Any recommendation for users who want to use X Pro 3 with 16mm mm. lens mm. as well as 90mm lens? Mm. Specifically, talking about the EVF, OVF with these types of lenses. Mm. So, this is very, mm, very good question. Mm. So actually, uh, I am a product planner of uh, X-Pro series, but also Eva, I produced uh, three lenses. I was a uh, uh, product planner of the lenses also, and 16 millimeter f1.4 and 90 millimeter f2, and also uh, 35 millimeter f2. Uh, these three lenses uh, were uh, produced by uh, myself. So my favorite three uh, is this three, three lenses. So I designed, uh, I planned my X Pro 2 and X Pro 3 for adjusting uh, these three lenses. So it means uh, it, it can cover 16 millimeter to 90 millimeter. So that question uh, is very good for me. Mm. So what unfortunately, uh, all of of X Pro 3 uh, cannot support the 16 millimeter. So in using, for using 60 millimeter, I recommend to use uh, EVF. Mm. And also x has a very, very good, uh, good EVF panel. So maybe nobody, uh, nobody uh, does not uh, understand 
uh, to use uh, eBrief even for exposed users. Mm. I mm. think. Will you recommend the hybrid viewfinder then? Yes, hybrid viewfinder. So the, I think my idea is so any finder is not a perfect. So OBF also, EBF also, so, but explicitly is very unique to use, to choose the both options. So mm -hmm. I think so adjusting and using in, uh, with uh, the character of the lens, so just choose uh, which is better, uh, which is best mm -hmm. for uh, the usage and lenses. Mm -hmm. Actually, so the very brightest, uh, the brightest circumstances, uh, I hope uh, I recommend to use OVF, but uh, under the very low light condition, I recommend to use uh, EVF. Mm. That's the reason. Mm. Actually, um, okay, I tell you a secret. When I first uh, switched to Fujifilm mirrorless cameras, mm. I couldn't get used to the EVF because mm. I feel like it's not pure photography, right? How can you see the result before you even press the button? So I was shooting with the OVF for maybe three or four months um, because I was so used to the DSL style, just OVF. Mm. And at that time, um, the Singapore manager, Fabian Lu, I remember talking on the phone with him. He said, you have to try the EVF. You, you know, you, it will change your life, you know. So I forced myself, I turned on the EVF. And after a while, I just said, why was I so stupid, you know, like, mm. it's yeah. just so much e easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, mm. the EVF is very practical. Mm. So, but uh, OVF, OVF of uh, such a range finder style, OVF mm. uh, has a very unique, so it is, uh, can see the uh, outside of yeah. the shooting. Mm. Mm. So that's what I recommend. So, the, mm. this character is a very, very precious character so for street photo photography, okay? Mm. So waiting is the mo moment. So yeah. she's a wider framing and mm. just choosing the, uh, the essential part. So this is yeah. a, a, the fun of the street photography. Mm. So that's, uh, I, I, I love the, uh, that's the reason, one of the reasons mm. I love this kind of the OVF. Not same as a DSLR as OVF, very mm. unique, unique, uh, viewing. Mm. Yeah. So, the, you were saying, you know, the X Pro 3 and the 90 millimeter using yeah. optical viewfinder is uh, making sense. Yeah, yeah, now, very, yeah, very practical. Mm. Yeah. So also, so, you know, the, uh, you know, the, you can see very small circle yeah. inside the uh, OVF. So as uh, Kunio san said, uh, you, know, <laughs> you can see something mm. come inside the frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so the like on there, uh, so, the middle field of the soccer player. Mm. So the viewing the wider, the wider vision, and also searching the, uh, the target. Yeah? The who is a shooter, the who is a, a, a striker. So just I, mm. I, I pass, I focus. Yeah? So that is the style mm. of the street photography. Mm. Mm. Another thing about why I like e EVF, it's because if you set to very high contrast or very mm. specific uh, film simulation, yeah, um, and so can maybe, see the aperture, uh, no, no, exposure. Mm. Yeah, the you exposure. can see mm. the effect, like if you have plus four shadows and plus uh, minus two highlights and super sharp, you can see the effect and, you know, even before you take the photo, the, the whole act of trying to find the photo and just searching in the frame, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like I want to go and do more. Or it helps you to refine the final product when you choose the frame. So that's one pro about the EVF. Okay, now, mm. let's, ready to move on to the next question? Yep. Okay, so this person, I don't have the name here, but this person asked, um, if X Pro 3 has a hidden LCD screen that brings photography to its roots, why doesn't the X100V has that? Why not the hundred V? So, are we talking about roots of roots of photography here? <laughs> so, we call X one hundred V is a gate camera for 
X series. Gate means uh, you can maybe uh, you can understand the gate. Yeah? So, entrance, entrance. Yeah, entrance. Yeah, yeah. So the target user, uh, the, the kind of target user uh, is wider. X100 target user is wider than X Pro 3. But X, as you as uh, already I said, so X Pro 3 uh, is a special camera for enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. But uh, X100V is not so special. We have to spread the attraction of x rays by X100V at first. Mm -hmm. So we didn't install hidden LCD to X100V. Mm -hmm. Do you have yeah, any yeah, other yeah, yeah, opinion? I think so. I think so. Uh, so because uh, so among the X uh, lens, uh, interchange, inter interchangeable lens camera system, so users uh, have many options. So XT also, X Plus also, every camera. But if uh, somebody want to buy uh, X compact camera, just uh, one option only, X100 series. So that is the reason. So X100 V uh, should have the uh, cheatable screen. Mm. So because uh, uh, that camera uh, have to uh, have to be used for uh, the wider wider users. Many yeah. many usage of users. Yeah, certainly mm. the X100 V and X Pro 3 is similar, but the target users are a little different. It's like what they say in art: you cannot please everyone. It's impossible to please everyone with the same piece of art so i guess the 100v it's more uh it and it can encompass a wider range of users whereas the x pro is for someone with a specific mindset even though the 100v is set out to be a street camera but more people can use it right they can even use it to shoot their family photos or their daily lives um, of course the x pro 3 can do the same thing, but it just feels different. <laughs> okay. I I have a um quite a specific question for um Sosan, you know, mm -hmm. like since um we all know what's going on with the world right now. And mm -hmm. so I want to ask you, Sosan, um, with COVID-19, mm -hmm. have the sales of the two cameras been impacted? And um, how's Fujifilm actually coping with this? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, my X Pro 3 launched last November. So my, luckily enough, that was uh, before the COVID-19 impact. So as I told you, you know, uh, we capture perfectly the first big wave of the sales. Yeah. After that, you know, the COVID-19 started so quite tough, you know, for us, like a sales people, to create a second big wave. So this is uh, definitely uh, impacted. Talking about the X100V, uh, we launched end of February, exactly, you know, when uh, COVID-19 impact is coming. But so far, uh, already three months have been passed. Yeah, but sales of X100V is quite uh, good. So whatever factory produce, everything goes to end user. Yeah, I think uh, some of the country, some of the dealer still lack of the stock. So sales is quite good. As Ueno-san uh, said, you know, the X100V for everybody. So even you know, Sony user, Canon user, uh, Nikon uh, digital SR user still love to buy uh, our compact camera, which is X100V, because no need to buy you know the lenses. So one camera and a very small lightweight. So you know you can go everywhere with X100V. So thanks to this, you know the I think target uh, you know uh, so many user uh, start buying this uh, X100V. Yeah, so same as uh, X Pro series. So X100, first series, second series, third series. Because every time you know, we launch the uh, three, four, five, so this you know, uh, wave becomes bigger and bigger. Uh, so well, we 
uh, actually as a sales person, we are very lucky. We have two, uh, you know, fast moving model XT4 and X100V. So, ma also, you know, we are we feel very sorry about uh, people who are you know suffering from COVID-19. Yeah, but uh, sales of talking about uh, these two model, uh, quite not so impacted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So um, I understand that because mm. 100V is uh, produced entirely in, in Japan and Japan also mm. has no lockdown. So there's no issues with production, I, I guess. Uh, but you know, the you know, camera consists of how many parts? 300, oh. 400 parts. Well, for example, X100V, more, more. More, uh, mm. let's say 400 to spare parts. So I can say now in you know, the supply chain, uh, uh, without <laughs> China uh, manufacturer, you cannot you know, assemble hundred percent of the camera. Uh, so uh, actually affected. But I think uh, headquarter people, procurement team, R and D team, everybody made a huge effort to you know uh, to, not to delay the uh, production lead time. Yeah. So we we really appreciate yeah. from local sales people. Yeah. I guess this will not only be a problem that Fujifilm is facing, but every mm. manufacturer, every camera brand. Yeah, brand. everybody affected. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But I think I can say sales wise, Fujifilm uh, manages quite well. Mm. Yeah. So as production. So maybe next question more for Kunio san. Um, mm. How has the camera division? You know, EI department. How mm -hmm. has um, Fujifilm been coping with COVID nineteen? Or I also know that you you started a a whole um new YouTube series to entertain the users. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, mm, maybe I uh, I hope some of uh, our users uh, already what enjoyed this series. Mm. So this is also Mindy's screen, Mindy's show. Hmm? Can I show? Can I show mm, my slide? Right? No, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Okay. So, so during this uh, and after COVID nineteen, so Fujifilm our, our production team uh, is producing uh, so many kind of the uh, the contents. Uh, the featuring the uh, the lifestyle, the photography style, photography life of the COVID nineteen. So, but this is one of the uh, the contents. So Mindy uh, was reviewing the, the photography uh, with our uh, cameras, and also uh, this is a Magari, of the French photographer, is sharing the experience and the rock and the as a shooting under the lockdown. So the, what is the message of uh, ourselves is the photography, photography is essential for our lives. So I, I think uh, the Fujifilm uh, should share the idea of this uh, because we are the standing for the COVID-19, the problem of, of the, uh, the lock, lockdown. So, but we now uh, understand the mean, the, the value of the, the photographing, uh, the value of the, the shooting ourselves. Actually, the personally, uh, this is it, it is a very good timing for myself to shoot my families and to review uh, the, my pictures, uh, what I ever shoot. Mm. So I think uh, for everybody, uh, not only me, uh, not only ex users, uh, the message is uh, essential and the, the message is work for their lives. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, what we did during this, during the, uh, the corona. It's okay? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. And I, I think um, a few years ago, I can't remember, is it 2018 or 
that year, um, you also started a project with uh, Magnum Photographers, and the project is called Home. Yes, so you, home you, mm. yeah, you invited them to photograph their home, mm. right? Let me share that screen. Um, so I, I think this is very timely, like something that fans can look yeah. at, mm -hmm. something that uh, people can actually look look through. Um, mm -hmm. says you're supported by Fujifilm. So we can have all the photographers to see examples of how they have mm -hmm. um, undertaken um, mm -hmm. this. And then there was a book that was a result of it. You're holding yeah. the book, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you want to show us the book? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, memory, of, memory of the for me. Why do you mm. think of this project, home? I mean, it's so suitable now. Yes, mm. it is good time to give you my my past works. Mm. Actually, so the Magnum photographers joining the, this project. So they, they, ever, they, ever they said, uh, this is a good timing to shoot my families, my homes. So actually such a uh, professional photographers, uh, they don't have the chance to shoot uh, their personal, personal lives because they have many, many assignments. So, so but now we cannot go out. So now we have to be, uh, be inside home and uh, show as uh, she face on the, uh, the families. So I think it is a good timing to make your own home project. Mm. Mm. This is uh, one of the benchmark. <laughs> mm. Mm. And it's a good reference for all of us. Uh, yes, good um, reference. Mm. Who are hoping to photograph home too. Yeah. Okay, now I just have one last uh, technical question coming in from Mr. Kenji Kwok, and he says, I would like to ask why Fujifilm not make full LCD screen on the back of Expo 3 and give users option to select film simulation settings or to use it as a user LCD. And the second mm. question he has, mm. why was Expo 3 not equipped with the new batteries like X-T4? Mm. So if we choose the, the general LCD for Expo 3, so we have to change the name of the product so because it is a not uh, uh, it is not concept of the Expo series. Yeah. yeah. So mm. like uh, X, X, mm, Expo 2, uh, second edition or so on. 2S. 2S or so on. <laughs> yeah. mm. Not Expo 3. Yeah. And uh, featuring a uh, new battery of XT4. So it is uh, one of the idea. So that, uh, if we choose uh, the new battery, we have to, we had to change the body size. So actually XT4 oh. comparing to Expo 3, XT3, so a little bit uh, bulky, and becomes a little bit more bulky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the new uh, new battery and new shutter system of uh, XT4 is very incredible. So, but if we choose that one, so we have to change the uh, uh, package size, the camera package size. So our idea to keep same size and is uh, uh, our priority. So that's the reason we choose uh, the same battery. Yeah. Maybe the height of camera body a little bit higher and the thickness mm -hmm. becomes thicker if we install the new battery. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if you're tuning in to us uh, and you would like to ask more questions, please quickly leave it in the comment section so we can pick up your questions. Um, we are going, we're going to go for another probably two more questions before we wrap up. So now, I think this one is very challenging. This is from Mr. Joseph Yeo. says, I came across a YouTuber commenting that X100V, although it's small and compact, for but the mobile phone camera is good enough for holiday goers. 
if we can still go for holiday. Haha. <laughs> What's your take? So basically, we're fighting with the camera phone market right now. What do you think? I think the, the attraction of camera phone and the genuine camera is totally different. It's not liable. So I don't want to compare both <laughs> two type of camera. Yeah, of course, I always use uh, phone camera, iPhone camera. Yeah, but uh, I never shoot um, my uh, so my picture for 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 example for Instagram and so on. So I never shoot by iPhone. Yeah, so those are totally different. The character is different. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Actually, the camera, the both camera and also the iPhone also so give us the pictures. But only the camera so give us give me the uh, the joy of the feeling and the catharsis of the shooting. Mm. So the both both can produce uh, images. So the, if our priority is uh, image image only, so just uh, we can use this one. But for me, I am requesting to the process of the shooting, the joy of the shooting also. And that's a reason maybe I wanna I wanna to I want to pick up the camera and go out somewhere. This is my personal personal opinion. Mm. Maybe I would like to add in from my point of view, but this I think this is a YouTuber comment, right? So he came across with a YouTuber comment. I think a YouTuber point of view, I think my, my mobile phone, I mean, smartphone is enough in, to record and upload us quickly. Yeah, but uh, talking about you know, the high-end cameras, yeah, has a uh, different uh, purpose, as Wenosan said. And if we see the market, the entry camera, like a, for example, price range uh, less than uh, the one thousand dollar is uh, dropping for the last uh, one year, two years. I think this trend will continue. But while you know the price range above one thousand is expanding, so I think uh, uh, due to smartphones, the market uh, you know before you know expanding everywhere, but now I think uh, you know more for specific direction. Yeah, so X100V is uh, located here. Yeah, so I don't think uh, smartphone X100V uh, demand is uh, spreading uh, separately. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I, I also would like to answer this question. And oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> my opinion is that, you know, how can you even compare the X100V with a mobile phone? I mean, how, how is it even possible, right? Um, so I, I think the, the act of photography, like Kunio said, um, also the control of the camera, um, looking through the viewfinder, or even if, yeah, you have to look through the LCD, but the intention is completely different when you tackle photography. Uh, recently, I also, recently, which is earlier this year, I also did a phone, um, a phone Instagram thing with uh, Samsung and in which I used the, the, the phone to, to photograph. Um, a, a lot of them are obviously wide shots, but if I'm going in uh, to be more um, intentional with my photography, with the type of images I want to produce, then obviously I will use a real camera where I can control the settings, control the aperture very quickly. Um, by just turning the dials. Because if I were to use a phone, I, I usually have to go to a separate function and then choose the choose the mode, choose the aperture, even if I'm on manual. By the time I choose everything, of course, the moment is gone. And I think um, you talk about the feeling of photography, um, it completely defeats the purpose. So I would use a phone camera to record to record something. It's like taking a diary and writing a note in the diary. Mm -hmm. 
But if I were to write a book, a serious one, I would sit down, plan and conceptualize and then execute it accordingly. So that's the difference with that. Mm. It's almost the same as why don't we use Photoshop to paint a picture? Why do we have to pick up the paint brush? Why don't we just paint a picture and print it out? So I think it, it cannot we cannot compare. So the, that's my mm. answer. <laughs> So let's take the last uh, question from Mr. Evans Huang before I wrap mm -hmm. up. Um, the question is, how reliable is the electrical mechanism of the EVF screen for rangefinder cameras? I always worry at times that the EVF screen might spoil and maybe future models make it mechanical rather than electronically operated. So very difficult question. <laughs> uh, so I think um, Evans is probably worried that the EVF will spoil if we use it too much. Uh, my EVFs have never spoiled. I, I have two XT2s that I shoot thousands of photos on it. I never had any problems with any EVF of any cameras before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the questioners said, so what spoiled? The EVF. EVF spoiled. The what? electrical mechanism of the EVF screen. Screen. How reliable is it? Yeah, reliability is, <laughs> I, I think reliability of EVF is uh, so enough. So the life uh, is uh, enough, uh, very long compared to uh, 10 years ago's model. So, mm. so I think no need to worry mm. about the life mm. and uh, mm. the maintain the performance of EVF. Yeah. Mm. So during, during uh, the user uh, mm. using our camera. So mm. no problem. So, uh, currently, yeah. the term, uh, time run and also uh, the frame per second, uh, frame rate, and also the color, uh, the color space is very wider. So I think Almost, uh, uh, almost so, uh, the higher the, the human's uh, capability, uh, even if it has. Mm. So I think one of the most reliable uh, finder is the uh, EVF already. Mm. And in the, in the future, the more the higher speed and more wider uh, the, the dynamic range. Mm. So I think EVF is like a small screen of your you know, mm. TV or laptop. So as if, you know, that you are worrying about when my TV stop, <laughs> your <laughs> laptop monitor will bro broke. So I think current technology, yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, my smaller or bigger, this monitor uh, display technology is uh, ad becoming advanced. And the durability also uh, becoming stronger and stronger. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm, I, mm. I, I agree with you, Sosan. Mm. So I, I have had many hours of using uh, X-Series cameras. Um, before this, I was uh, also photographing a lot of weddings. I think mm. I photographed at least 100 weddings using the X-T2. And mm. each wedding is 10, 12 hours. The camera is turned on. I never switch it off. Mm. I mean, it, it goes on this power signal mode. But the yeah. EVF, uh, after so long, it's still working. So I don't think there's any problems yeah. that just you in should case, be worrying yeah. about. Just in case, this two model X Pro Three X Hundred V has a optical viewfinder. Yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if if you spoil, still you have a OVF. Yeah. This is a good point. No, 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 Sosa. 
Right no. frame is used by so, uh, EVF. <laughs> EVF. Hybrid. Yeah. Hybrid. So yeah. EVF won't spoil. Yeah. So you can we, see. Uh, X Pro 3 and X1 have that we always using the EVF panel. Ah, really? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So I can understand his concern. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, we forgot to mention um, Uino-san is very shy um, and he's also very shy about his uh, Instagram account, but he's actually a very <laughs> passionate photographer and yeah. he also uses a lot of uh, film. Uh, his, the, his history with Fujifilm actually goes back, way back before X-Series cameras, right? So he, he knows about, you know, all these like, all, all the color signs of the uh, developing of film simulations and all that. So he's very, very color sensitive. So you can all go and search. I won't give you the name, but you can search out his Instagram account to look at his photos. <laughs> you can share if you have. Yeah, maybe we'll share it later. Um, no, when, I, can, when... I can share. <laughs> <laughs> so we can know more personality. Of <laughs> really? Okay. So maybe we'll share it later uh, in the comment section. And if any of you guys have um, any, more com uh, any more questions that you would like to ask uh, the Fujifilm team, even their R&D team, please leave your questions uh, inside our Facebook page uh, in the comment section below because we are actually reading these questions and forwarding it to Japan, to the development team. So actually, they you know they are quite active on Facebook, so they are constantly like looking at what you guys are writing. So please don't uh, hesitate to to leave comments even on the YouTube channel. And um, so before we end, right, I want to do a little like self, not self, but a little promo promotional piece uh, on this beautiful um, movie documentary film that Fuji Film um, did. Can you all see? Uh, so if you haven't already watched it and if you if you enjoy um, such kinds of sharing and if you enjoy listening to the ideas um, of the people you know behind these cameras, people who are creating these cameras, um, this 90 minute documentary camera punk uh, contains a whole host a whole list of interviews um, even from you know the trigger designer uh, uh, you know people from the, the entire um, line of, of making this camera. So it contains a lot of, I think, a lot of precious information. Please go and watch it if you're a big Fujifilm fan. Right, so any uh, anything else to add? No. When sounds uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will share. Yeah. Oh, Sans Instagram. Yeah. Six. Should I share it? I mean, ah, Oh, San share it. Yeah, you can see? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is so, my Instagram. So, so as you can see, right, we know Sun is very big on like skin tone and skin colors. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, that's also uh, one of the really, um, what is it attractive points about fujifilm you know why why we are all using it it's because the reproduction of the skin tones um is just incredible yeah. so um, yeah, so you have to share the uh, technique how to become <laughs> to know such a models privately yeah. Yeah, so uh, I always upload the portrait photos. Uh, those models are Japanese professional model. Uh, I, I often get order from model management office uh, mm -hmm. to take profile pictures of the models they belong to. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, all pictures are taken by X series or GFX. And uh, basically, I use the film simulation uh, ProNega standard. And uh, I, my so best lens is 90 millimeter f2. The same with uh, Kunio, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 90 millimeter is the best lens for portrait, I think. And uh, in case of GFX, uh, 110 millimeter is the best lens. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, of course, all these photos are no retouch, JPEG straight. Yeah. Uh, so washy. Great. Yeah. No need what about, to. No need to retouch. What about your settings for the? Um, is it like zero zero zero? Yeah. No. 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 Uh, uh, highlight tone uh, minus two, shadow tone minus one, and uh, sharpness minus four. That oh. my super soft setting. Yeah, super soft. Yeah, that's my setting. No need to special technique. Only mm. uh, you have to do is using our X series. <laughs> you so, need the uh, technique to talk. Talk to lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's it. And so do you Thank upload you. directly from the camera? Oh, Sorry? Is that, do you upload directly from camera? Do you edit? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm image transfer to my iPhone and uh, upload. Mm. Yeah. OK. Yeah, thank you. Any, yeah. any other comments, anyone, before we just wrap up? Okay, it's been a good uh, 90 minutes. I hope all of you enjoyed this session. And if you also uh, like to hear more sessions like that, please also leave us comments. So thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. And thank you thank for you. spending your Saturday night with us. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.